Hello everyone. Welcome to AE Graphics. Let's preview what we are going to create today. Let's get started. Open After Effects. To create this animation, we need two plugins. Named Saber and Trapcode Particular. You can download those from the link in description. Okay. Let's start our animation. Create a new comp. And rename it to KGF Title Animation. I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution. 30 frames per second, duration 6 seconds, background color is black. And click OK. Now let's import our project files. Right click on project window. Import and file. Select the files and open. You can download the file from the link in description. Now let's create our text. I am using Covert Ops expanded font. Let us adjust few settings of the font. Make sure the color is white. Font size 400. Tracking value is 50. Vertical scale is 130. Horizontal scale is 110. Turn on italic style and all caps. Align it to the center and the anchor points too. Now our basic text is ready. Let's add skew to the text. Open the text properties. Select the option near animate. Search for skew and apply it to our text. Now change the skew value to 5. Now our text layer is complete. Select the text layer. Press Ctrl plus D in keyboard to duplicate the layer. Select the bottom text layer and right click and choose pre compose. Rename it to text. Make sure Move All Attributes is selected, and press OK. We can use this comp later. Delete the comp here. Now it's time to add fire animation. Create a new solid. Right click, New and Solid. Rename it to Saber. Make sure the background color is black. And press OK. Go to Effects and Presets, and search for Saber. Drag and drop it to our Saber layer. Make sure the Saber layer is selected. Go to the Effects Controls tab. Select the Saber. Open its Customize Core. Change the core type from Saber to Text Layer. Change the Text Layer. From None to KGF. Change the Preset to Fire. Now let's adjust few more settings. Glow Intensity to 25%. Core size to 3. Open render settings. Change the composite settings from black to transparent. Now our fire layer is ready. Let's animate it. Make sure you are in the first frame. Go to effects controls. Let's adjust few settings in the customize core. Create a keyframe on mask evolution. Change the start size to 50%. Make sure the start offset is in 0%. Create a keyframe on end offset with 100%. Halo intensity to 150%. Halo size to 300%. Okay. Let's go to the comp. Turn off the KGF text layer. Now select the Saber layer. Open the Saber properties. Effects in Saber. Open Customize Core. Here you can find the keyframes we created. OK. Let's adjust few more settings to animate. Go to 1 second. Add a keyframe on end offset. With the value of 100%. Now go to 2 seconds. Change the end offset to 0%. And the mask evolution to 180%. Now select all the keyframes. Right click, Keyframe Assistant and Easy Ease. 
you are free to use your own ideas. I am just showing you the path. Now select both the layers. Right click and pre compose. Rename it to Saber plus text. Make sure Move All Attributes is selected. And press OK. Let's create our background text. Go to Project Window. Select the text comp. Go to Edit. And Duplicate. Right click and rename it to Text plus Texture. Open the comp. Select the wall background PNG. Drag and drop it to the comp. Place it below the KGF text. Let's change its scale value. Open its properties. Open Transform. And change the scale value to 50. Now change the wall background track matte to alpha matte. If you don't find this option, right click here, Columns, and Modes. Now let's change our texture color. Make sure the wall background PNG is selected. Go to Effects and Presets. Search for Gradient. Drag and drop the four color gradient. Let's adjust few settings. Change to color 1 and 2 as red. And change the color 3 and 4 to yellow. Now change its blending mode to multiply. OK. Our basic background text is ready. Now let's create a new comp go to project window. Create a new comp rename it to texture plus matte. Make sure the background color is black and press OK. Now drag and drop the text plus texture comp. Now we are going to add some black drops in the text. Create a black solid layer. Right click. New and solid. Rename it to matte. Make sure the background color is black. And press OK. Now go to Effects and Presets. Search for Fractal Noise. Drag and drop to the matte solid layer. Let's adjust few settings. Go to Effects Controls. Change the contrast amount to 300. Brightness to minus 50. Open Transform. And change the scale value to 50. Let's add another effect to it. Go to Effects and Presets. And search for Threshold. Drag and drop it to the matte layer. Let's adjust few settings. Change the Threshold level to Minus 0.60. This is how our matte layer looks like. Now go the comp select the text plus texture layer. Change its track matte to luma matte. If you don't find this option, right click here, columns, and modes. Okay. This looks good to me. Now go to project window. Open our saber plus text comp. Select the Texture Plus Matte Comp. Drag and drop it to the comp. This is how the text layer look with the Fire Comp. OK. Now go to Saber Plus Text Comp. Select the Texture Plus Matte Comp. And duplicate it. Go to Edit. And Duplicate. Rename the bottom layer to Light Sweep. Turn the solo icon for the light sweep layer. Now go to Effects and Presets. Search for CC Light Sweep. Drag and drop it to the light sweep layer. Let's adjust few settings. Go to Effect Controls. Change its direction to 15%. And change the light reception to cutout. Now we have to animate the light. Go to 1 second and 20 frame. 
and set a keyframe on center. Change its value to 280. Now go to 5 second and change its value to 1600. But the light sweep is visible all over the layer. Let's fix it. Make sure the light sweep layer is selected. Go to Toolbar and select Rectangle Tool. Dragon Mask is shown. Now go to Mask and select the inverted option. This is how our layer looks like. Select the mask one. Press Ctrl plus T in keyboard. Drag the mask as shown. Now we have the light sweep only on the top. You are free to use your own ideas. I am just showing you the path. Turn off the solo icon. Have you noticed this? Our light sweep layer is not visible. Let's fix this. Select the light sweep layer. Open its properties. Open transform. Change the position value to 538. Now our light sweep layer is visible. You are free to choose the value according to your project. Okay. Now let's create fire particles. Go to the KGF title animation comp. Click the toggle switches and modes bar. Turn on the 3D icon for our Saber Plus text comp. And also change its blending mode. From normal to add. Now create a new solid. Right click. New and solid. Rename as particles. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Change its blending mode. From normal to add. Go to effects and presets. Search for particular. Drag and drop it to the particle solid layer. Okay. Let's adjust few settings. Change particles value to 5000. Emitter type to layer. Change direction from. Uniform to directional. Now open layer emitter. Change the layer from. None to saber plus text layer. Layer sampling to current time. Layer RGB usage to lightness size. Now open particle. Change life to one second. And particle type to. Circle, no DOF. Change the size to 3. And I am changing the color to orange. You are free to choose your own color. Also change the blend mode. From normal to add. Okay. Now open physics. Open air. Change the wind x to 300. Wind y to minus 200. Okay. Now go to our comp select the particle layer. Press T in keyboard to open opacity. Go to 2 seconds. Set a keyframe with an value of 100. Go to 3 seconds. Change the value to 0. Select both the keyframes. Right click, keyframe assistant. And easy ease. Now our particle layer is ready. Now it's time to add fade exit. Create a new solid. Right click. New and solid. Rename it to fade. Make sure the background color is black. And press OK. Go to toolbar. Select the eclipse tool. Double click on the tool. A new mask will be created around the comp. One thing. If you don't find the mask. Make sure the toggle mask and shape path visibility is turned on. Okay. Check the inverted box. Open the mask properties. Change the feather value to 300 pixels. Go to 3 seconds. Create a keyframe on mask path. 
Then go to the last frame. Now select the mask one. Press Ctrl plus T in keyboard. Hold the shift. And drag the mask outside the comp as shown. This will create a nice fade out animation. Okay. Let us create a mirror floor. Go to the project window. Select the Saber plus text comp. Go to edit. And duplicate. Rename it floor. Now drag and drop it below the Saber plus text comp. Right click on the floor comp go to transform. And select flip to vertical. Now change its position as shown. You are free to use your one ideas. I am just showing you the path. Now press T in keyboard. Change its opacity to 30%. Now let's add blur to it. Go to effects and presets. Search for Gaussian blur. Drag and drop it to the floor comp. Change the blurriness to 30. Now our floor layer is ready. As a final step, let's add a background to our comp. Create a new solid. Right click. New and solid. Rename it to background. I am using a dark red color. You are free to choose your own. Press OK. Place the background below all the layers. Here the background layer is also visible to the floor. Let's fix it. Make sure the background layer is selected. Go to Toolbar. And select Rectangle Tool. Draw a mask like shown. You can adjust it according to your ideas. Now open the mask properties. Change the feather value to 200 pixels. That's all, our KGF title animation is ready. Hope you like this tutorial. Do subscribe our channel. Let's learn together. Meet you in the next video.